deja vu I'm always crawling back to you And you, you're 18 You never know what you need Now I, I lost touch Nothing's ever hurt this much This feels so new I'm never going back to you There's nothing you understand It doesn't matter when it's not you There's nothing you Welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Kenyan Bikers. Today we have actually something special. I actually saw this bike when I was doing a video log and I didn't know what it was. And then eventually somebody posted in the group something that looks like it. And it turns out it was a scooter. So we just had to have it in the show. So today with me we have Julio. Yeah. Julio, say hi to the guys. Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Okay, Julio. Yeah. You have a fabulous looking scooter. Thanks. I'm actually surprised it's a scooter. Yeah. Tell us about this bike. Well, it's a T3 scooter. I sell them. Uh, my number will be in the description below. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Description below, don't worry. So I have multiple uh, different colors of this. Yeah. And uh, it's a T3 150cc. Yeah. Uh, comes with a music system. Nice. Yeah, we in were jamming with that yeah. just recently. Yeah. We have a handbrake feature, which is new, and it works perfectly in traffic. Yeah. Because it's a big bike if it gets stuck in traffic, or yeah. if you want to park your bike, you can put the handbrake. On. Nice. So nice. Uh, so it has disc brakes in the front. Yeah. And the rear. And then those are those disc brakes at the front and the rear and the rear and also a drum brake. and then a drum brake. That's actually that very interesting, which is for the handbrake. Yeah. Okay, that's actually quite that's actually quite interesting. Okay, fine. So it's 150 cc. Yeah. A little bit of homework. It does 100 kilometers with just 2.2 liters. No, no 3.5. 3.5 liters. Thanks for that. 3.5. Oh, no, that is actually quite amazing. Yeah. 3.5 liters, 100 kilometers. Yeah. So the tank is 11 liters. Yeah. And with a, with, a, with a fuel consumption of 3.5 to 100 kilometers. That yeah. is very good. That is very good. But I go and ride with other bikers. We end yeah. up fueling three times and only fuel once. Fuel once. So it makes, it makes perfect sense. So you go on rides with other people and you do, they fuel a few times. Yeah, about three yes. times or twice. So in other words, it does actually fuel. It does, because uh, it has a comfortable speed of about 95 kilometers an hour, 94, yeah. 95. Yeah. Top speed is 140. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy who I sold the scooter to and they modified the uh, air intake yeah. and they put a cone filter so he yeah. doesn't think 110 Whew. 110 yeah. wow, that's amazing yeah just so feels apart from the modifications this bike actually looks beautiful i like the lines yeah. mm, the scooters you always think about those small tiny tiny moped. little mopeds yeah. right but this is just evolution of the scooter heritage yeah. but they have kept one thing comfort. like when you're buying a scooter up there on the list is not power yeah it's like actually if you look at the heritage the three generations of scooters when i was doing my research was the pre-war era yeah. war era and then post-war era yeah. and then there's this one that comes in known as the maxi scooters yeah. right the maxi scooters like the honda rt250 yeah. and the bigger engines i hear some of them even go up to 800 cc's i think somebody actually, actually has one a bmw that has no the, the bmw that's in the country it's yeah. 650 cc there's one scooter, yeah. the, the biggest engine yeah. for scooter is Aprilia 850cc. Jesus, 850cc. Hey, it's crazy, it's fast. Yeah. That, that is, that is really quick. Yeah, I was yeah. Being to, like you mentioned, somebody doing a track day with a scooter. Yeah. I, 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 I ride a sports bike and I see a guy with a scooter there, I'm like, yo, dude, <laughs> yeah. fine then, we're all amateurs. So yeah. let's, just, <laughs> let's just respect each other, but dude, a scooter. True. Then yeah. I'm hearing 850cc. Yeah. That is amazing. So now, how is it living with this bike? Uh, well, first of all, I get quite a lot of respect on yeah. the road because okay. people think it's a sports bike. Yeah. And because you know, with normal scooters, I had the smaller ones, which I still sell the yeah. normal 125 yeah. moped. Yeah. With that and this, I get much more respect. On Drivers this notice me more. Yeah. And they all move out. Don't move away. away. Yeah. And it's, it's perfect because it consumes less fuel. Yeah. It's quiet. It's doesn't quiet. make any noise. I, I hear it on news. Yeah. The only noise it has is the speakers. Yeah, yeah. Comes, when you're making, yeah, you know, when I'm playing music, which is actually very cool. So I've actually seen you said that it was. Um, you sell the other smaller bikes. Yeah. Then this one, so you get a lot of respect, which is actually very cool. But one thing I liked about this is its looks. Yeah. And its comfort at the same time. So probably, I might consider getting a scooter in my lineup. Yeah. So anyhow, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Julio, for bringing your bike Thanks. on Thanks. this show. 
right? So with that, I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video. Check out the bike and then you tell us what you think. And remember, which of the bikes you want us to review, we will try our best to do it. But just don't tell us to review one of this Batman bike, okay? We don't have access to that, right? That's just too expensive for us. But with that, guys, please ride safe. And then remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much, guys. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. um, so today's episode is about clutch change. We have seen very many people who had their clutch cables cut and then they end up getting stranded. So we just decided to do a short video showing you guys how you can do an emergency fix. Uh, I'll just go through what you need. You need um, this, these two are sold separately. So you will buy this from a from a, any motorcycle shop, Buddha Buddha shop, just tell them you need an emergency clutch cable. And this thing, they all have different names. I call it a battle or a lock. So this is 50 bob, this is 20 bob. But it might depend on the color of your skin, you might be charged like three times. So we'll need that. And every time you're going to work on your bike, always make sure you have all your tools next to you so that you don't have to start walking up and down looking for tools that's how you end up misplacing bolts and things like that so for this we'll need uh we'll need two number eights so i'll make sure you where you need you need that you'll need the number eights to tighten this when it comes to the time if you don't have two number eights you can have one and then a screw driver that's why it has this star head uh that's all you need so I'm just show you guys what usually happens on the clutch cable. So the cl clutch cable has two ends. There's this one end that has this. This one is cut. So this one end that goes in here. And then if you can just go down here. And this other end that goes into this. Depending on your bike, this whole assembly might be on the other side. The 800 GSs and such. Uh, most times the cable will cut over here just because there's more movement here. When you pull the cable, it's coming outwards and there's also lateral play. This doesn't happen on the other side. The other side is just back and forth. There's no... So it, it usually cuts 
over here and so i'll just show you how to quickly replace this so this is cut you have the old cable in there now you don't need to do anything other than just pulling out the old cable you can just pull it out from this side just remove the old one pull it out leave the sheath in there get your old the new emergency cable Now, if this is an old sheath, you can, you ca if you have some WD-40, you can spray some inside there. This will make your cable pull really light. And your cable will also last long. button in I'll just leave that hanging for now then slide this in on the other end so on this end you need to align this this all have a slot so I'll just align that put your cable in slide it into the slot then make sure that's there then from the other side you can just pull the cable pull the cable till this side is tight now when you're holding that okay so what I like to do is I like to have this at the very end So I like to have this on the end, on this one end. Then you can pull this. If this is this is not very important, but I'll just squeeze it in there. Uh, now I was saying I like to have this closer to this end, just so that you have all this adjustment left. If you if you, if you end up tying this at the wrong place, you still have that room just like to adjust your cable. Now once this is there, you're just going to measure it there. Make sure your lever is tight. If you haven't noticed this is, is a replacement for this so because this is not present on this emergency cable you buy this and use it for that work so we're going to tie this I'm just going to tighten it the way I have told you guys to the two spanners which one has gone this way. I just like this You can use a pliers also if you don't have 
a number eight to hold it. Then, because I do something. Once it's there, make it as tight as you can. Don't worry about cutting the cable. You're not going to do it. Just make it really tight because these things tend to slip. idea you just cut that side and you have a functional cable uh, I can just give you guys some tips on how to maintain the cable so if you have some of these levers they usually have um, either a bearing or a bushing inside here normally you want to remove this once the clutch pull becomes a bit hard you remove this screw most of them have one bolt mine has two so you need to hold it one with one allen key here and another one here open it up then you'll just apply some grease on the bushing uh, where this lever is sliding around then also once you pull this cable out if you have some WD-40 you can just spray it in there and slide this up and down just to move the to spread the WD-40 down into the cable and with that you have very light pull you can add some grease uh, in there where this cable is being held you can add some grease down in there and just wipe off the excess once you do that and you'll have a very easy to use clutch yeah we're done Nice. Ooh. I just like the sound.